flatbed or reefer, okay? That's what we're gonna talk about today on the Truck Around channel. All right, flatbed or reefer. It is the age old conversation when it comes to truckers. I'm not gonna put this in a way that it's better. I think it's better if I just explain to you the difference between them and what your daily life is gonna be like for them both, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. And then you make the decision on your own. I'm not gonna say which one is better. This reefer, but whatever. Listen, flatbed. All right, let's, let me give you a little background about me. I did, I did flatbed, okay? I did flatbed for about three, four, four quarter years, something like that. I started at CR England, which was reefer, hated it. I didn't like the appointments. Went from there, I went to night transportation. Ooh, I would love to flick you off right now, but I'm trying to do better, okay? So I'm gonna bring it back. Went to uh, night transportation, hated it. Um, they had some sliding scale at the time and I just couldn't calculate my check, didn't like it. From there, I went to Masary, Ohio, and I worked for a company which I think is the bee's knees if you just want to be company, they don't offer lease. It's Melton Truck Lines, okay? They're out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, it, it, there, it was hard. Let's, let's talk about the daily life. First of all, you get there and with flatbed, you are going to basically have this same roundabout appointment, most reasonably. It's gonna be, the appointment's gonna be from eight to four o'clock. That's usually what it comes out to be, okay? So with flatbed, it allows you to have a relatively normal sleep pattern. You understand that? It has you a relatively normal sleep pattern. So if, if you're someone who doesn't wanna be waking up at ridiculous hours and all that stuff, Flatbed is good, okay? Now, Dick saying the trucks, when you're just starting out, it's for the rookies, when you're starting out, usually the flatbed and tanker companies usually do have more, they usually have better trucks. They have uh, more comfortable trucks, usually. I, I've seldom see, except for I think that uh, they have white truck. I think it's, um, oh, what is that name of that company? Stay away from them. Uh, is it U.S. Express? I don't think it's U.S. Express. It's a flatbed company that says Express. They usually have white Freightliners, Express. I don't, I don't know the name of them exactly. I'll get it for you, but, you know, almost every flatbed company I've seen has an APU. You're a rookie. You're not really thinking APU, why is that? An APU is important. Do you understand? An APU gives you more power for appliances in the truck. An APU gives, usually when the company puts it in there, they put a 3,800 watt, um, inverter in there for you to plug up your refrigerator stuff. An APU gives you basically, think of it as central air for your truck. Your truck, when it cuts off, it just has AC forever. You don't even have to run the engine. It's just AC forever, which in turn helps your, hit you those fuel bonuses for you to make more money. So it stops you from burning more fuel. So that's one thing. Uh, when I went to Melton Truck Lines, they gave me the T660. It had, um, Oh, leather seats in it. I had never been in a, a Packard truck at the time. I was in love. Do you understand me? In love. It had a DD, it had a, a, a Cummings 15 in it, regular old 10 speed. Man, I drove that truck all over. I was there for seven, 16, something like that, 17 months. Long as I had ever been in a company at the time. I usually left every three, four months. Um, basic same drive situation, man. You know, you, you, drive, you can just basically have a nine to five with reason type of life. These flatbedders, they're not really trying to do all that overnight stuff, man. They don't have to. You know, the place is gonna open at a certain time and that's what it is. Cons, listen, flatbed is not for the weak. It is not for the lazy. These people have to get out there in rain, sleet, or snow, hot, cold, muggy Alabama, Louisiana in August with the bugs and the, the freaking lizards and all. They have to get out there and they have to tarp those loads. They throw in straps, it's hot, it's a fall risk. You're gonna cut your hands up, you're gonna cut everything up. It, it is a risk, it is a lot going on. And after you do that two, three hour sucky tarp job, you gotta drive, man. Yeah, yeah, you have to drive. So it's like, you don't go over there if you're not 
ready to work, bro. Don't just don't don't even set yourself up for it. Flat bedders are for hard workers, man. They're for people who don't mind getting dirty in the grimy and, and they don't mind doing it that way and, and, and they don't complain about it. If you're one of those people, you don't even need to look at flat bed. One of the trade-offs from them working so hard is that they don't have to wake up three to one o'clock in the morning, bro. They don't, usually. And then if they do, it's not often. So a regular, if you need someone who, you know yourself, listen, rookie, you know yourself, you don't want to wake up two in the morning and drive, then you flatbed is around the area you're going to end up needing to be. But you got to learn a lot. Belly strapping, different straps, chain techniques, tarp folding techniques, tarping techniques to make it not shaking the thing. There's a lot you have to learn and fairly quick because they cannot even attempt to teach you everything you need to know about tarping on um tarping at the company. They can't teach you everything right there. It's just not going to happen, bro. So it's one of them things where you just pretty much have to learn off the seat of your pants. The way I did it, a little bit of advice, is when you're tarping at U.S. Steel or one of these places where everybody's lined up tarping, ask one of the older guys. Because these older guys, they want to give you knowledge. Dude. They want to feel like they know what they're talking about. So go over there and be like, act like a rookie, which you are. And, and they will help you tarp and they'll pretty much just G check you and, and tell you how to do it, man. So it's one of those things where, you know, don't go over there to flatbed because it's like, oh, Trucker Brown said, I'm going to get to sleep. Listen, if you don't like working hard, it is not the place for you. Okay? So, jingle All right. Reefer. Oh, yes, Reefer. Let's talk about it on the sleep. Reefer. Reefer is good, okay? Let me, let me tell you why. In flatbed, if you miss your load Friday, that's it. You're sitting to Monday. Put it this way. The workers that work at the shippers, a reefer shipper and a flatbed shipper. Re flatbed shippers, they're better jobs for those people. They get holidays off, weekends off, all type of stuff. The reefer places, half of them places is a bunch of temps. Okay, for the people you're actually dealing with are temps. They don't get no days off. Tysons and Walmarts and, you know, and, 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 and uh, Aldi's and all these places and these U.S. Coast surges, them things are cranking, bro. They're cranking 24 hours a day, 365. There is no, oh, we took a break. No, nah, none of that. It just keep going. So when you're in flatbed, they close. You miss that four to six o'clock in the afternoon, that's a wrap. You got to wait till the morning. You miss that Friday, you got to wait till next Monday, which will destroy your check, okay? It will destroy it. So that's just something to think about. On Reefer, the reason why I like it from a lease and, and, and money standpoint, they will load you any day of the year. You understand? Last year, I got loaded on Christmas Day. Do you see what I'm saying? Christmas day, they put a load on me. The loads with reefer, if you're leasing, well, period, the loads with reefer, it, it, to, to me, it is, the, and all this is my opinion, the most steady money situation you're going to find in the world of trucking is reefer. That is the most steady situation you're going to find. I don't care what everybody says. Uh, listen, bro, you want to be able to be loaded any day of the year, any holiday, any time of day, reefer. If you want to run, reefer. Now, listen, there's some trade-offs here. You, it, 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 an appointment can be any time. It could be 2.46, 4. Sometimes you'll drop something off It'll say one o'clock at night. They won't finish loading you till four. They'll tell you, you can't stay on the uh, premises. You got to go. You'll leave at four in the morning, find a safe haven at 530, fall asleep, and they'll be calling you. Because remember, you got there, you put yourself on off duty. So it looks like you're ready to drive in three hours. Your DM will be calling you at eight, eight nine o'clock saying, go get this load. It is rough, bro. Like It is not something that it, it, you have to know how to to, to deal with your sleep or, or not be crying about your sleep or force your sleep. So sometimes I just force it. Dude. I just cut the phones off. Once the load is done, I just won't be reachable until I get my sleep. 
That's just a trick that I do. I don't care what's going on because this is reefer. You can load me two o'clock in the morning the next night. So I don't have to be ready to pick this load up. It, I would make more money probably, yes. But listen, it is dangerous to drive a truck sleep. So, or what you can do is when you finally get to sleep 5.30, you can predict, all right, I'll be ready to drive at 11 and a half, 11 in the morning, send a message, we'll be ready to reload at 11 a.m. And then they usually won't mess with you. But if you, another thing too, the shippers are very busy. You don't know what backing situation you're going into. They, they have way more rules. Oh my God, you gotta put, wear a vest, put your left leg up, do the mumbo, walk over here, go talk to that person, that person. Take the receipt he gives you, take it down to that person. That person's gonna give you a door. You come back, talk to the yard guy. He gonna tell you where to go. You drop your stuff. When you drop your, you drop your trailer, put your trailer in the door, dolly down, pull from it, detach, park there kind of clockwise, wait, give me your key. Don't sit there. Don't park over there. Wait, when the light comes on, call the phone number on the paper. It's a lot of that going on. So it's like, it's one of them situations where if you don't follow rules and you can't deal with a little sleepiness, you might as well go over there and work hard with the flatbed dudes because they get to sleep. Let me tell you something. When you go into TA and there's dudes in there at seven o'clock in the afternoon eating, chilling, those are probably flatbed guys. Because reefer guys ain't done at seven o'clock in the afternoon. Not usually. We, we, you know, we getting into it. Now, if you go in there at three in the morning, <laughs> it's like reefer, it's guys in there nodding off into a bowl of chili. That's the reefer dudes, bro. But the, I'm going to tell you something. Some of the best decked out trucks besides heavy haul, because they got some bad trucks. The best guys I know as far as doing business and as far as their success in trucking, 80% of them are reefer, 80%, because they all say the same thing, it never stops. Because when things happen, whether they're in recession or not, people eat, they have to eat. Like the, that's just what it is, there's no way to get around that. So that's my difference between reefer and, you know, and I'm not really putting together, honestly, let me be real with you, I just, I just let it flow, man, the feng shui, the middle year, I just let it, I just let it go, but you, you, have to, you have to think about these things I just told you. I went into these not knowing, and I learned the hard way. And I will say, reefer, as far as money, uh, work availability, kind of being impervious to the market, kind of, not all the way, because you see the prices go down, but you're, lo you're moving though, okay? Flatbed, it go down, you won't be moving sometimes, unless you're with someone ridiculously huge, and then it doesn't matter, but, um, yeah, reefer is almost impervious, dude. It's like the, it's, 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 it's the cat's meow, I'm be honest with you, it's, it's great. The money, I've never had this much money steady like this, okay? So that's what you think of it. And that's Trucker Brown's view between reefer and flatbed, okay? If you're gonna say, oh, what about tanker? I hated tanker. I'm not the guy to talk about. I don't want to sit around that long and put it in for different detention pays. Tanker sucked butt cheek to me, so I'm not the guy to ask for that. I'm gone. Boo! Oh, oh, whoa, bring it back, bring it back. Go follow me on Instagram. That's at Trucker Brown. You have reached the trucking channel, and plus other stuff, but I'm doing trucking content right now, so yes, you reached it. Make sure you sub, hit the bell also, Go to my Instagram, which is at Trucker Brown, don't do drugs, and all these videos will be immediate, the first day available on Patreon. Link will be in the description. I'm out.